guys, today I'm going to be showing you a week in my life as a college student living in New York City. You'll see my Monday through Friday schedule at Fordham University. I will also show you what it's like being a content creator in the city as well. You'll see how I spend my time managing my classes during midterm season, being productive, hanging with friends, while also going to really fun brand events throughout the week. Hope you enjoy! actually gonna turn on my light because I used it in the last video and I actually really liked how it turned out. We need to quickly get ready. I just got dressed and I showered. I made my breakfast. I didn't bother to really show you guys anything because you guys have seen it multiple times in my videos. I'm also planning for this to be a week in my life so I don't really want to get too repetitive with my routine. Today is a Monday. I'm starting off this video strong. March 4th. I only have one class on Mondays actually but my teacher ended up canceling the class. Thank goodness because I didn't want to go all the way to campus just for the one class but it's also because it's a midterm day so she just sent it actually over email and i have to do that soon i am planning for this video to be mainly a week in my life for like college and stuff because you guys love seeing that but then also i have a lot of fun like content creation kind of events i kind of want to just bring you guys on that side of my life because i feel like i haven't done one of these videos yet like a day or week in my life as like a content creator it is now 12 20 i have to leave in like 25 minutes to actually go meet up with my manager and then later tonight, I actually have a very, very exciting event. I don't know if I'm allowed to say it, but it's with Apple. Really, really excited. Honestly, like a dream. But that's not until like 5 p.m. Also, oh my gosh, last week was so, so, so much fun. And I kind of regret not vlogging because I think I met like four different new friends. And like I went out this past weekend, which was super, super fun. I also went to the New York Public Library for the first time. Felt like I was actually in like a movie, like doing my work. It was completely free too. Also, one other thing is that I really, really, need to get done today is that the summer class registration opened up at like eight o'clock in the morning today i wasn't gonna wake up early and get on my laptop and do it so i'm kind of praying that there's like some open spots still because i do plan on taking actually a lot of summer classes i'm a transfer student so i am a little bit behind on like my credits and stuff like that so i kind of want to like prioritize getting ahead a little bit not even getting ahead but like just getting on like a level of where my class is i'm technically supposed to graduate in spring of 2025 but I might not be graduating until winter of 2025. I'm not leaving New York though. I already plan to stay here post-grad. Like I really, really like the city. But anyways, how have you guys been? I feel like I literally haven't been able to like sit and do my makeup with you guys in a hot minute. Oh my gosh, I need to also talk about this mascara for a hot second. I think I have like four bottles of this because Cleo keeps sending me it, but like it's actually my favorite mascara ever. It's the Cleo 01 Long Curling one. I know they also have like volume ones too. This is literally not sponsored by by the way genuinely one of my favorite like makeup products the best lengthening mascara i think the fragrance i'm gonna go for today is this replica one from mason margiela it's not like a super artificial smelling perfume which i really really like but one of my other favorites i really really like is the mystere i've gone through multiple bottles of this this is the blooming bouquet one too let me show you guys the outfit i literally have to leave in like two minutes here is the outfit i have my little bag right here but i'm also bringing my tote bag because i'm bringing my laptop just in case i need to like plan out stuff or pull up my like notion and everything but my top is from brandy this zip up is also from brandy these cargo pants are from princess polly and i'm just wearing my doc martin if you guys are curious where my bag is from i thrifted it off depop it's actually the cutest thing ever but yeah i need to go or else i'm gonna be running late soon so see you guys later a little hot matcha and it is so nice outside you guys i'm literally wearing a tank top and a little zip up it's so nice out. now going back to my apartment and we're gonna get some more work done before the event tonight i do have to leave in like an hour and a half i did not expect the meeting to take that long 
It is now 3.30. I'm kind of stressed now because I have to be at the event at 5. Also, I'm going to put that ring light back on because the lighting was low-key kind of giving earlier. I already have an idea of what I'm going to wear. The only thing is, is that I just need to get some work done beforehand. Honestly, what I'm going to do right now is my summer registration for my classes because we cannot let that go any longer. The registration opened up this morning and I really don't want to wait until later. <music> We successfully registered. That took like two seconds. Actually had like a whole plan organized through our school registration thing. So like I had all my stuff in place and I literally just clicked add and like submit and it got all registered. So thankfully we're not waitlisted on any of it. I got the online course that I wanted to. At least for the Fordham classes. I also need to submit forms for some other classes. I want to take them outside programs because it's a lot cheaper that way. <laughs> Hello you guys, good morning. We need to go. For this event, I have to dress business casual, which is kind of fun. Don't really get to do that often. I think I'm gonna wear these trousers and then this shirt from Brandy, like a uh, collared shirt. I have like this oversized blazer, which could be really, really fun. I don't know. We'll see what it looks like on. And then for shoes, I'm either gonna wear these ones or these ones. These are both from Dulce Vita though. I'll leave the links to these down below. They're super, super cute. We'll be right back. I don't know if this is too much, but I would rather be like overdressed professional than like under. Okay, you guys. Here's the official fit, as you guys saw earlier. We need to go or else we're gonna be running late. Well, not late, just I wanna get there early. But yeah, I am so, so excited. Up. We all look very, very cute. You look so good right no, now. No, you look good. <laughs> Girl, I'm like no. wearing too casual. Wait, I like it. No, no we gotta I think give you're you good. a picture. No. <laughs> Head to toe. <gasps> Wait, no, look at these. <laughs> Girl, did you do a picture before going? <laughs> yeah. I know. You're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, you're gonna be like, yeah, it's like that's true. It's like, yeah. Oh, wow. Wait, this feels like a notebook. <laughs> Oh my gosh. That is so cool. Oh, it's so thin too. Oh my god, it's so thin. <laughs> we're both yeah, like filming yeah, the same, yeah, same content, different but like I feel like YouTubers or yeah. in content creators, you don't realize that we're so introverted. Yeah, like, no, all of us, all of us, everyone so, there. Was. I was overheating. Like I'm bread. Like look, at, I feel my cheek. <laughs> oh my god, I'm bread. Oh my god, we need to get water like right now. I'm so glad you went with me though. I'm, I'm so glad oh she was with god. me. Guys, it's so scary going to those events alone. Like it is so nice having someone. No, especially like Tammy too. She's the best, best person I mean, to bring. I was, like, I was like, I'm sticking with her. Like oh, no one's coming in between us. No, there was like six people, eight people there. Yeah. And they're all students and like around the same age. And they all did like social media. Mm -hmm. So it's actually nice that like a lot of people. There. <laughs> no, god, wait, like the fact oh, that we were both holding back books right now. I need to walk out the ginger. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh. Let's walk up. <laughs> Today I ordered an Uber because it was pouring rain and I was already running really late to my Spanish class, which was my first class of that day. 
And I also have a class directly after that, so I make my way up one floor of the main building and I met Laura before class. Here she is holding up Pride and Prejudice, which is the book we're currently reading in my literature class. I always love the view from these classrooms. It's so high up and you can always see the city. After this class, I had a break and I ended up going to the campus cafe we have. This is normally where I go to a cute cafe nearby and some of my favorites are Common Address and White Noise. But with the heavy rain, this was the most convenient for me. So I just got myself a coffee and walked to my next class at 2.30. Then after that one, I had another break, and I went to the library to do even more work. I ate a leftover bagel sandwich from this morning and also a granola bar, which I always have on hand in my backpack. And then I got straight to work. I had an essay to do and then also a discussion post for the class that was at 6 p.m. Like I said, this was my night class, so I'm here kind of late and I get really tired. I packed my stuff up and walked to class and once I was done, I was so happy to finally just go home. I'm always so exhausted after this day too and you'll see later, like when I go home, I literally just eat dinner and go to bed. Hey guys, I'm walking home now, finally. I had the longest day at school and I just picked up these cookies for my friend. These days are definitely my longest days. Like I'm there from 9.30 a.m. and it is now like eight o'clock as I'm walking home. fluid and I can't use these for the life of me. I don't know why. I guess we're not lighting a candle. Anyways, it is now 8.30. I am defrosting some salmon for dinner. I also haven't cooked dinner in like eight days in a row. I've been eating out with friends and it's honestly so bad. I mean, it's good because I've been meeting a lot of new friends, but it's hurting my bank account and my wallet. So we're actually going to cook dinner tonight at home. It was pouring rain all day today. What's my neighbor doing upstairs? But also one of the reasons why I don't do a crazy amount of stuff tonight is because I also have a 9 a.m. on Wednesdays. So like I'm at the school literally all day on Tuesdays and then I have to wake up early and get to a 9 a.m. So I have to leave her at 8.30 in the morning and then I'm done by like 2 p.m. But yeah, I have some very exciting news for Friday. I got invited to a really fun and exciting event. I'll be taking you guys along with that. So I think the plan is to cook dinner and then do my homework and literally just go to bed. It's so boring, but that's like all what my Tuesday nights look like. To wrap up this night, I made a classic dinner choice of mine, which is salmon and rice. And then I did my Spanish homework. I usually always have homework every single day for this class. So I just got that out of the way for tomorrow. Okay, you guys, I just finished my homework for the night. I'm also gonna put my phone up here for better lighting before I pop melatonin and go to bed because it is 10.30. I wanted to do a little taste testing. I got these matcha cookies from one of my friends at school. She has like her own baking business. This is her at, if you guys go to Fordham, <laughs> She also packaged them in the cutest way ever. I got her matcha crinkle cookies. Here is what they look like. Oh my gosh, I've been meaning to buy these from her for the longest time. She keeps selling out of them too. Here is what they look like. I, she has no idea that I'm filming this either. So here's a little taste test. These are about to be gone by tonight. <laughs> They're like the perfect level of sweetness. I don't know how to describe it. Those are some of the best matcha cookies I've ever had. Anyways, now I'm gonna pop a melatonin after eating the sugar cookies. I hate waking up at seven o'clock in the morning for my Wednesday classes. That may not be much, but for me, I am not a morning person and that's like the worst because usually I get to wake up at eight. I'll probably talk to you guys when I'm on the way to school or something, I don't know yet. <laughs> again kind of a gloomy day out for some reason this whole week is just filled with rainy and gloomy weather like where is the sun this class is earlier than my normal classes that start at 10 it's just spanish again i have it three times a week it's kind of insane and then after class i had a break between my one other class of that day so i went to a cafe with my friend and i got myself a matcha and cute breakfast sandwich i didn't film anything in my second class but i walked home and it was definitely pouring rain at this time too like i have my umbrella out and my pants were getting wet
It is almost 10 p.m. I didn't get what I actually needed to get done after school today because I was so tired. I'm still hoping I can wake up early tomorrow though. Now basically ruining my sleep schedule for tonight. I hope I can still go to bed early. Good morning. I just showered and quickly got ready. I'm gonna put like a cute little sweater on top of this tank top when I film because I do have to film the MacBook unboxing today. I literally took like a six hour nap after school yesterday. I was so, so tired. So I didn't end up getting to film that. I was gonna change into jeans, but I'm still in my sweatpants after I showered. I just decided to put them back on because I wanted to be comfortable. I also need to run some errands today. Today I don't have classes, but I decided to put this in here even though it's not a college day in my life. It's still um, college week in my life. I have to do a midterm that's due tomorrow, another remote exam like the one in the beginning of this video. I also just have like homework and stuff to do, so I'll take you guys along with my day. Anyways, let's get to the kitchen. I'm starving. Let's make some coffee and my breakfast. I eat every single day. <laughs> Done, you guys I just finished getting ready but I'm gonna get ready to film my video I have to clean my room a little bit just get my room looking a little bit more presentable for my sit down unboxing video we're gonna try this again since I couldn't get it to work last time bruh oh okay it's like a muscle memory block thing I have to like remember I'm not gonna burn my finger okay there we go yay My one door is broken and I have to get it fixed, but I think this is what we're gonna do for now. Okay, you guys, it is much later. I don't know, wait, hold on. Why did I put my tripod away when I was gonna use it? I like just finished filming. I've literally been talking about it all week, but I'm so excited. I'm actually gonna edit the video on this new MacBook right now as well. I will be back in a second after I import all of the stuff on this computer because I can't film at the same exact time. I just finished importing the footage and I'm currently starting to edit the video. I also made some pulled pork. It does not look that cute with some ketchup. I don't know why I showed it a second time after saying it was not cute, but I also made a matcha latte. It's ice. As you guys can see, it looks so good. Should I be drinking this at 6 p.m.? No, and I'm literally getting boba later with my friend. I'll probably make something before I leave though because I'm not leaving until like 8 p.m. to meet up with her. For right now, we're eating this though. Let's get to editing. <laughs> might be off. Wait, you just spilled it. We need to get napkins. <laughs> it's like all over my head. Hey guys. Mmm, <laughs> boba ice cream. <laughs> hey guys. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back. <laughs> because I need to leave in literally 20 minutes and I'm kind of stressing out. I'm going to my one class today, this morning class, which is my Spanish class. I have a huge test or exam and I'm like honestly really, really scared for it. Like I've been reviewing my notes and studying. I'm just really struggling in that class overall. I'm gonna wear like a little cardigan to go along with the outfit I'm wearing, but I'm feeling like it's giving spring. You'll see in a little bit before I leave, I'll show you. I also went to bed at like five o'clock in the morning last night, if you can't tell already by my eye bags. I only got three hours of sleep. Tammy and I are gonna take Instagram pictures in Soho after the event, so I'm kind of excited for that. I just hope I don't look dead in like all of the pictures. <laughs> Has anyone else experienced the same thing with their Tarte Shave Tape concealer where it like just overflows everywhere? Like it leaks makeup every time I close it. I'm gonna rush as fast as I can right now. Hey 
you guys, here's the outfit. I'm running late, so I just have this cute little corset top, this cardigan, my jeans, and my little ballet flats from Dulce Vita. I'm also gonna be bringing this bag to kind of go along with it. This is the look. I'll see you guys after class. I am literally running so late. This is so embarrassing because I had to Uber to class again. I was running late. Definitely not in the habit of doing this anymore because this video was filmed a month ago, but I just had my one morning class for today. Normally I have two other classes, but got canceled. So I walked over to Columbus Circle and actually went to a brand event. Uh, it was the cutest little pop-up yeah, thing yeah, with the worst. <laughs> POV or an influencer event. shopping after in like the Soho area. We went to Missouri to look at really cute jewelry and then we also went to this really cool like perfume cafe called Elora. Eloria. I don't know how to pronounce it but the barista was actually on a break so we couldn't even like try the drinks at the cafe but the perfume smelled so good here. And then we also went to this vintage store which I've been to so many times. I love Les Mis. They have the cutest photo booth too so if you're ever in New York you have to go. And then Tammy and I took pictures in Soho. We're just taking pictures. Our queen over there. Wait, she left already. She's over there. Oh, she just, she's over there. She had a cute bouquet of flowers and I like made a comment to Tammy. I was like, wait, we should get flowers for this little photo shoot. And, and she overheard us. And she's like, you want a picture with us? And she got a photo. <laughs> she's so sweet. Why are New Yorkers like, yeah, New so, York nice. so nice? Like yeah. genuinely so real. Like, I love it. I love I it. Love it. It's just so sweet. And it's a beautiful day. Everyone's it's mood is just lifted because of the good weather. <laughs> Back. <laughs> I just got back home. Please ignore my closet doors for right now. I know my room's a mess. It is now 3.05 and I have a Zoom call with one of my professors at 3.10, literally in five minutes. But here is the bag I got from the pop-up. They ran out of like the actual product that they released, the retinol, but this is what it looks like. I loved Versed products. I wasn't a huge fan of how the pop-up was set up, not gonna lie. It was a little crowded and it was just hard to connect with people in my opinion. They gave us another headband. You guys have seen me use the pink one so much and it's kind of crusty, so I was in need of a new one and this one kind of matches my hair color and then they also gave us this cute little hat that says well versed on it so adorable they had like a whole cafe little pop-up anyways i'm gonna go hop on my zoom call right now really quickly after my zoom call i went to a club meeting but before that i actually had to go to the post office to drop off these depop packages but the club meeting was back at campus so i walked to school and they had all you can eat sushi which was really really nice this was for the fashion for philanthropy club they had us make tote bags and they were donating them to the women's shelter because and then I was going to go out because it was Friday, but I was genuinely so exhausted. I think I was running on like three hours of sleep, so I went straight to bed. I thought it'd be fun that I also include what I did on Saturday. My friends and I went to Greenpoint in Brooklyn. My friend needed to return something at the stationery store, so we ended up just making a whole day out of it and went to like a really cute cafe as well. I don't think the camera does it justice to show how beautiful these croissants are, but they were filled with like Whoa. filling and they were the sweetest things ever. Mm. Like it's cute rain. It's, it's, it's like the cute aesthetic rain day. <laughs> We've gotten to one place. <laughs> Got you filled up with food. Now my caffeine. And now you need liquid. <laughs> you play like The Sims. Know. No, <laughs> like, but I know what that is. Now hydration. I feel like I don't really video during rainy days like this. It's, I love. It's rainy. kind of a, a vibe right? with the umbrellas. And then <laughs> we wanted to try this cafe, Rhythm Zero, and I first got a coffee. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> Look at my drink, guys. <laughs> 
<laughs> had to get a matcha right after because their drinks were really, really good and two drinks were really speaking to me. And then we went to the stationery store after. They had so many cute little things. I thought it was adorable. <laughs> She's returning her thing. <laughs> Write something funny. Smooth. Oh, that's very pink. No, they only have this one and then this one. <laughs> it's like raining so hard. We're currently going back to Manhattan now. My camera like won't focus. It's all wet. There's rain everywhere. When I got home, I did some laundry and just kind of cleaned up my room a little bit. I also had a midterm due this night, so I sat down in my bed and had to write it. I thought that was pretty much everything I did for this night. It was kind of cold this week, so I didn't go out. I hope you guys enjoyed this week in my life as a college student and content creator. Please let me know if you want to see more videos like this. And also, I'm so sorry for not uploading in so long. I took an unplanned break, but I'm definitely back and ready to start uploading videos again. School is finally coming down to the last few weeks. A spring break vlog is coming up very soon. Definitely subscribe if you want to. And also, follow me on Instagram to see all the pictures I've been posting. If you made it all the way to the end of this video, comment down below the secret emoji. I'd like to see who's actually watching up all the way to the end. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye!